When we think about Web3 Gaming, we think about two things. We think about games and we think about money. Today, I'm going to be talking about the money part of Web3 Gaming and what a lot of crypto influencers are now claiming to be the next frontier Web3 Gaming, or as they say, the next 1 million X tokens tomorrow is, is kind of what the narrative seems to be going. But it's really funny because I like, I, I'm kind of looking at my metrics here and I'm looking to see, you know, how the average commenter operates in this world. And, you know, the average age on this channel is 25 to 34, 35 to 44. If you're an outlier, congratulations. You're a very special person because you're not the average person on this channel. And so one thing I've really noticed is it feels like a lot of people are casting doubt on the longevity of Web3 Gaming. When I'm going to be 100% honest with you, you. it's kind of ironic people are looking at these things right now but I'm, I'm gonna cut the cherry here we're gonna open this up right here we're gonna talk about web3 gaming tokens we're gonna talk about why i am buying web3 gaming tokens and uh, a lot of it is to spite people because i've been going to a lot of events lately and i've been talking to a lot of influencers about their content strategies and kind of the things that they've been kind of looking up and something that i kind of want to tell you here and this is maybe not a shock to some of you but will probably be a shock to a lot of you that are newer to the space most people that dedicate their lives to cryptocurrency content creation are doing just that they're dedicating themselves to content and not learning how to actually invest properly so don't take anything for, for financial advice especially considering my content i spend all day making content so i don't have that much time to actually research things for investment purposes so that's why you always do your own research for everything and why you shouldn't be taking all this too seriously but i don't think that october is a phase i don't think that web3 gaming is a phase a lot of people don't understand what's going on here Today, we had a crypto pump, great and all. Uh, the crypto market's up 3% on the day. If you're looking at the top cryptocurrencies that are outperforming the market right now, pretty much go to Web3 Gaming. Most Web3 Gaming tokens are outperforming the market. Now, it's because of the fact that, obviously, they haven't been doing too hot over the past couple of months. Uh, but even more importantly is... Uh, October. October is a very important month for the cryptocurrency industry. It's actually the busiest month for releases in gaming worldwide. You're probably asking me why. There's a good reason for this. It's because the holidays are coming. The holidays are when we see the largest spike in consumer spending. So that November to December angle is the peak for gaming of the year. The entire gaming world is looking forward to November and December. So with this being said, they release their games in October, hype it up leading into November, and that's why we get all those awesome releases in these specific time frames. So with all this being said, what do you think is going to happen in the crypto gaming industry? If they're looking for consumer spending, they're going to be launching in quarter four of 2023. We're going to see quite a few titles. I know Luvium is trying to do some kind of PvP. They're doing a bunch of different things that they're trying to push out. Axie Infinity has a lot of games it's incubating, and some of them, including the Machines Arena, look like they're getting pretty close to something pretty interesting happening. I'm not going to go too deep into this one, but I wouldn't just buy AXS as a token, and this is something I would kind of warn everybody getting into crypto gaming tokens. While it may seem fun to just buy a token and hold it, you may want to actually research what's going on within the ecosystem. For example, Axie Infinity, you might not just want to buy the token. Maybe you want to buy the land because you get, you know, AXS emitted to you daily and the staking APR is actually really good. But maybe, you know, in the land talk, you don't want to get just a Savannah plot, which is the cheapest because the APR is awful compared to the Force and Arctic plots. You know, there's so much more in crypto gaming than just tokens. The gamification of assets makes it so much more exciting than, oh, okay, this is just AXS. This is some kind of governance token is super cool and then gala is just like the gas fees for the entire ecosystem while you're right you're not wrong you've got to think about the bigger picture you've got to think about the fact that people are buying up this token because they want to go ahead and maybe not utilize it for the ecosystem but they're betting on gala as an ecosystem growing over time and they want to support that that for the most part is a good reason to buy gala and i see access and gala as pretty much i don't think anybody's ever said this before but i kind of see them as the bitcoin and ethereum of the crypto industry right now they're kind of the people that were there for a long time they're probably not going to have like a 1 million x or 1000 x or something absurd right they're not going to have those crazy gains but in terms of risk to reward for the most part, these are the places to go to, right? It's like Bitcoin and Ethereum might not go up 1,000x the next bull market. Some random meme coin might go do that. But the risk to reward is there for people that want to do long holds. Uh, there are arguments that people can do about the supply and how that's fluid and how there's still issues. And there's so many diff different FUD events that are happening at the moment. But if you look deeper into it, you'll understand that, for one, lawsuits take a while to go ahead and conclude. 
And second, these games are still going out just as fast as they were going out before. So if you're pricing in what Gala was before, then, you know, people will forget about that over time. And we're going to have this bounce, which we're already starting to experience. And that's why we're getting what we're getting. We're actually seeing Gala outperform the market. And that's, you know, makes a lot of sense. You know, Miria, an ecosystem that I know a lot of people are kind of fading right now uh, because of the distributions not being the best. That's an ecosystem that once the games actually start to come out, I presume is going to be a lot more exciting to be building on. And that's where I'm going to have more favorable price action. I'm trying to look at a sub one cent Miria. If I, well, excuse me, it's already sub one cent, but the gain is zero. Okay, Miria, that's, that's what I'm looking for to continue to accumulate this. It would make a lot of sense for me uh, to get to that point. The market cap of Miria would be like two to three million, which is uh, very attractive for me. So those are some metrics I'm looking for there. Uh, Wagme is one that I'm looking at. I don't think that I would buy it at this value. I'm looking to see if it goes below 10 million. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to fade the project. But those are levels I'm looking at. Uh, Alluvium is very attractive at its current price point. It's literally at a pretty near low on the year. Uh, this is something that had some pretty crazy rewards in terms of yield. But this game, it's probably not going to be the one to get mass adoption, but it is going to be one of those games that I'm looking forward to a lot. And I want to be part of that governance because the governance is dope in crypto. So I kind of wanted to make this video because people are just like, they're sleeping on this stuff. They're sleeping on it. Crypto influencers are going like, oh, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I'd rather get into like uh, XRP or, or HBAR. I'm like, like, I get it, bro. Like, I, I get it. You're excited for HBAR and all that. But do you actually know anything about Web3 Gaming? Like, I'll, I'll ask them that question. They'll be like, I... Uh, no, <laughs> like they, they don't really know what's going on internally. They're just like, uh, these are gaming tokens and uh, they have games that are that are out. I'm like, okay, cool. But what, what's actually happening? They don't know. Nobody really knows what's happening unless you're in the ecosystem. And while there are plenty of problems that I could point out with every Web3 gaming ecosystem, it's like you guys are sleeping on the fact that all this stuff is, first off, underexposed. There's not that many people that are talking about it. And um, there is pretty much everybody, I think, can just say and agree in unison that Web3 Gaming is going to be the thing that does not care about what market conditions are. It's just going to do its thing and it's going to absolutely kill it and, uh, and shock the world. And that's a good reason that we continue to make Web3 Gaming content. Because we're super focused on the fact that these games are awesome. Like, I mean, I, I th there's a good reason that I cover Gala. Like, it's one of the few Web3 gaming ecosystems. I mean, I was playing Get Plucked like an hour ago. So, and, and I don't even care about this weekly prize pool for launch. I was just playing the game. There's plenty of games that you can play. I made a thread on, I mean, the things, the, the, the actual games you could play, that if you had $0 in crypto, this is how you get into the industry. Spider Tank's Piloty is a wonderful opportunity for everybody to get into, but people are sleeping on it because it's just not enough for them. But some people are more than happy to make 15, 20, 50 dollars a day. Like that's a perfectly capable thing for people to be making uh, if they're at the top echelons of spider tanks and maybe playing a few tanks per day. And in some countries in the world, that is awesome especially considering where the state of that game is at right now. The Last Expedition is a game that I'm super excited for. There's so many different things that I'm excited for, but that's going to be pretty much this video. I mean, we, we're going to absolutely slam it with Gala. Guys, if you want to support the channel, link in the description as well as in the pinned comment below. We've got an affiliate link if you're going to buy anything in the Gala game store, which I'm not going to say anything, but I'm pretty bullish on Gala. Until the next time, stay classy, and that's all.